addicted. My name's Tammy Gay, got a brand new car that'll go up if I get an inform. But my ankle's torn and my keeper sucks, so really, what's this card for? No doubt about it, the card is cheap, but can Chelsea win without me? Come on! Fire in the booth! Good evening, everyone. It is a huge honor to have the headliner Stammy Abraham Cat. Thanks again for a million subscribers, boys. <laughs> Let's go! What's up, boys, and welcome to the 86 rated headliners Tammy hey, Abraham Episodia. Now, uh, this new headliners team was just released. We got a couple Bundesliga players in it, which I'm actually very, very excited about. Uh, finally getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of Bundesliga love in the form of that Marco Reus, the Thomas Delaney, and then also Werner the Burner, who now has two 87 rated cards, but one is obviously dynamic. So the Tammy Abraham, the Tammy Abraham SPC is coming in just under 45,000 coins, which means it's one of the cheaper uh, uh, player SPCs we've seen all year, and uh, it is definitely cheaper uh, uh, than uh, any of the dynamic card SPCs that have come out. Now, the one thing I want to check really quickly is we're gonna we're gonna look at the Prem. Have they won four in a row all year? They did win four in a row. They went on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They went on a seven-game winning streak, and then they came close a couple weeks ago. They won, they drew, they won, they won, and then now they're on uh, now they're on a loss and uh, loss and a draw. Their next game comes up on the 25th, which is tomorrow, but that's the FA Cup, so that I, I don't believe that counts because that's not, uh, that's not domestic. I don't think FA Cup counts. But then on the 1st of February, they play Leicester, then they play United, then Tottenham. Okay, so that's... <laughs> Damn, dude, Chelsea are, gonna go, uh, Chelsea are gonna have to go on a mad one to get even those three wins in a row. We are here today, boys, to look at this card. Goes for under 40,000 coins, super, super cheap. Tammy Abram, one of the most beloved players in the Premier League uh, and one of the most beloved players for Chelsea, there's no doubt about it. And today, we're gonna find out if he can become a beloved member of Ultimate Team. We did a, uh, we did an epi on his 84 rated card, which was very, very good. This is an 85 total in-game stat upgrade over that card, has an 84 in form, obviously, and then this 86 is now dynamic. So, his sprint speed goes from 86 to 88, acceleration goes from 75 to 77, finishing gets a massive upgrade upgrade from 88 to 91. Shot power goes up from 86 to 89, so that's pretty significant. Uh, significant enough that uh, we don't have to use the sniper chem style to jack those stats off, and we're going to focus strictly on the dribbling because those are the stats that he needs help with. Uh, he gets plus three in all of his dribbling categories, which is a big uh, is a big positive. And then if we go look at stamina, it goes from 74 to 77, so all of his uh, physical stats have been jacked off uh, plus three as well. So going to be very interesting to see how this card performs compared to that 84 in form. But as I usually say, boys, if this episode helps you in some way, shape, or form, figure out if you want to throw in the 40, 45,000 coins uh, on this 86 headliner Stanley Abraham card, drop a mad lad like on the video. Drop a mad lad like on the video if you want that damn Orsic episode, which is why I'm wearing the Croatia kit. Drop a like on the video if you guys want to see that for the first upload tomorrow. Three star, three star, six five, obviously very, uh, very similar to our boy Erling Braut Holland. He is, for all intents and purposes, he is the English Erling Braut Holland with the three star, three star. Really good finishing, really good composure, um, and then obviously that incredible height as well. Now, if you're using a Tammy Abram, there's no question about it. You're, of course, going to be using a good evening, everyone, in Golo Kante in the squad. We've got Ante Reb... Uh, not Ante Rebic. Was going to use Ante Rebic. We've got ourselves uh, Mario Balotelli. We've got ourselves Alexis Sanchez. I'm getting used to some of the Serie A boys because I feel like we could be getting ourselves a sweet uh, Serie A card, maybe a flashback Ibrahimovic, so I want to get a little bit more familiar with them. Uh, Adama Troyora we're running with, and then we're running with the uh, combination of Gabriel Jesus and Chris Smaldini. Now, Gabriel Jesus is being... Uh, not Gabriel Jesus. Juan Jesus is being rumored to be possibly going to Fiorentina, which would dead this card. So I'm just giving you guys a head up. If you guys want to research that or something like that, apparently this card is going to be deaded, obviously, if he goes to Fiorentina. We're going to be going to the 4 triple 2 We're going to get in a couple matches here. We're going to see if the Mad Lads up top can get the job done. And as a matter of fact, if Mario Balotelli doesn't cut it, I think we will bring on that uh, Leroy Sané. Match number one at 86 headliners, Tammy Abram. Los Gates. Tammy, the Tammy Abraham rocket blast. Jeez, he obviously doesn't have himself a left, but he's got the he's got an absolute banger of a right. And damn, that had that headliners kit though. Was that meant to be like a phoenix? That damn headliner, dude. The headliners kit. Interestingly enough, I wonder if a player like Tammy Abraham becomes more useful now post patch, given that like skill moves. Um, I'm not saying that skill moves aren't important, but now that you can do a whole lot more with just the left analog stick, like moving around with the left. 
he doesn't have the. I don't think he has. I don't think he has an average rating of. Uh, I don't think he has an average dab rating. There we go. Hey, that's a pen. Legitimately, all I used was uh, left analog stick to do that. Tammy Abe's. What's he got for pens? Where's his rating? Abraham, go. Sem dúvida. Alisson Becker. Free. Thank you. What is my Chris Smalling doing? I'm tackling with Chris Smalling, dude! He touches the ball! How does his Ryan Kent get through there? Like, okay, I can understand him making that, but how? How? How does my Chris Smalling not depossess him there? I did everything perfectly. Like, literally, I was right in front of him. Like, that is the perfect situation for a standing tackle. This was literally just left end log stick dribbling. See how quickly I went to the left, and then see how quickly I went to the right? That's the new that's the new dribbling meta. Look at that. He doesn't even turn his feet. Foot out. Is able to get both those done. Nice first touch. And then just a blast in the back of the net. Abraham, go! Tammy, dude. That's a dude, that's your right foot. That's the perfect position. That's a goal Tammy Abraham's got me banging in. His ball control. No way he has Pacheco in net. <laughs> that was lucky. That was all luck. We're going to need, uh, I think we're definitely going to need another, we're going to need this to be upgraded. We're going to need him either to have an incredible performance for Chelsea, or we're going to have to get Chelsea to get, uh, we're going to have to, Chelsea are going to have to win four games. Because as it stands right now, the ball control and the reactions are nice, but the 75 agility, and then the 81 dribbling, just, you feel it on the card. And like, I get it, it's it's not a card that's meant to be dribbled with, right? But that that's, that's the one thing that's really attractive about this Tammy Abraham card. Is that he's got that. I mean, like, obviously, right. 88 sprint speed, 91 finishing, 87 composure, and 92 strength. Those are the main things that you want to focus in on. But I definitely want a version of this card that has better dribbling and a little bit better agility as well. See, he's even telling him. He's like, if only I had a little bit better bow control, mate. And you know what? Let's bring on uh, Let's bring on Ante Rebic up top. Because anytime he's in the game, he does bits for us. Rated card. He's got an inform right now that you can pick up if you missed up on that foot miss card. Uh, if you missed on that foot miss card, but Ante Rebic is a, he's a, just a different kind. <laughs> That's gotta be in, and it is beautiful first touch on the chest from Tammy. Uh, and then a beautiful little finish. Probably would have given him a thumbs down had he missed that. Because if I'm being honest with you, man, the dribbling 
it leaves a lot to be desired. It really leaves a lot to be desired, but a great, a great little first touch and a great little finish. Doesn't have great dribbling. Has, uh, has really, really good physical stats, but, you know, even then, the 77 stamina, the 77 acceleration, um, the ball control certainly leaves a lot to be desired, and, and, and I wouldn't deem him a player that's ready for weekend league or anything like that. Having said that, though, you know, is it worth doing for under 40,000 coins? And I think that's why he's probably so cheap, is he's got some of those 77 stats in key categories that you want uh, if you're planning on using the player at, like, a top-end level, like high-end divisions, uh, div rivals, or even, um, or, or weekend league. Chris Morlin. Chris Morlin. Chris Morlin. Chris Morlin. Chris Morlin. What is that? Chris Morlin. I don't know, Chris Morlin. Get out! I'm not, I, I can't, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't play another, I'm not playing another game. Dude, I might not even be able to hit gold three if, if this is the way that, uh, if this is the way the game's gonna be playing, I'm, it's gonna be 100% an uphill battle. He's got the 75 agility, which is a negative. He's got the 77 stamina and then the 77 acceleration. So those three stats combined uh, make him feel like a card that's just a little bit underwhelming. And he walks off the pitch and you can almost see the frustration in that walk. A card that doesn't have any problems finishing if you get him in the right position, but it's, it's, it's getting him in the right position and it's maintaining control of the ball. That's a little bit difficult with this card, but uh, there's no way to put it. The, there's no other way to put it. His finishing and then his composure are very, very good. Uh, and then as you guys can see here, for the love of God, I hope he made this one. Is this the one that went wide? Are they just showing the one that went right? No, that's the one that went in. Hey, the value is gonna be a four and a half out of five. Uh, there's literally nothing wrong with the value at all. In terms of on the pitch performance, boys, I am going to give it a 3 out of 5, and it is not a card that is ready for high-end divisions or weekend league runs, so look elsewhere in the Premier League if you guys are looking for that. I mean, thing is, like, yeah, like I said, those three stats let him down, but he can finish. He's an absolute finishing mad lad, and he's Tammy Abraham. You know, he's one of those cards that uh, is, has so much potential going in the for, into the future, and is, is a fun little dynamic Chelsea card that we can root for. But uh, that is going to do it for the episode, boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and uh mislav orsic that's what we're going to be doing this uh that's what we're going to be doing tonight probably going to do a combination of weekend league and then also grinding that mislav orsic so we can get an epi on him uh tomorrow per usual boys i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a bit.